Nothing. Really? Why would you think there's something going on? I don't know, you tell me. Did someone say something? No. Is there something to say? No. There's no way you spend this much time with a person at Mom. It's just that you two grew close right under my nose. I know this time I've told myself that it's been innocent. Just because we're close doesn't mean something is going on. I know. And it really is innocent. Is it? Yes. You know it's not something to lie about. It is nothing like that, Mom. I promise. All right, if you say it isn't so, then it's all for your protection. You don't need unnecessary pressure where your life is yet to begin. Yes, mommy, I know. Good. I know, right? What's with the long face? Don't tell me you're heartbroken. I'm thinking about the quickest way to make money right now. What do you need money for? <laughs> <laughs> to survive? To leave? I thought you had a job. Not enough. Get a better paying job then. We didn't invite you here so you could depress us. And you even brought Harry along to embarrass us. <sighs> but at least the food won't waste. Oh. Sing to all here. Why don't you make the most of the party? Uh, you two go ahead. I'm not really in the mood. Come on. Don't be a sour grape. I'm not. Stop that. It's not funny. Oh. <laughs> I said it should stop. Not until you come with us. Come on, guys. Let's not do this. Breaking things at somebody's party. So I, it was an accident. 
So, did you ask her? I did. And? She denied it. Of course she did. Look, Sophie. I don't know if it's been deliberate or not. But as annoying as you have been in this past few months, the only reason I'm here discussing my child with you is because I know beneath all the airs you give, that you actually care about your child's future. When it comes to Adam, I can't let my personal feelings stop me from doing the right thing. Listen, everything I told you was true. I overheard him on the phone that night. They talked for us. And while it's cute and everything, you and I can agree that it's not what's important right now. I agree. So, what do we do? What else can we do? You talk to Adam and I'll talk to Oli. I can't believe Oli lied to me. <laughs> the age they're at. Still disappointing. I taught her better. I know. We all have to deal with unpleasant things. It's all part of family. Oh God, why did I lie? I could have just said, yes, there's something going on. How hard could that have been? Oh, extremely hard, apparently. Oh, I can't live like this. How much did they say it will cost? You're so lucky I have Apple Care. But I still have to send it to the US, have the screen replaced and sent back to me. That's the part that's going to cost you. Iris, it was an accident. It's still going to cost you. I know. And I'll pay for it. <laughs> really? Where are you going to get 50000 from? I'll work for it. Within a week? Why? A friend happens to be going to America. She'll take my phone too. So you have to pay her for it? Duh. Was she doing it for free before? She can't do you a favor. There are no favors in the real world, Romeo. I don't like owing people. Can you wait here on vacation so you fix it yourself? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's like three whole weeks. So? You really expect me to walk around with a cracked phone screen for three weeks? That I even have to wait a week is heartbreaking. I don't think you even know me at all. Iris, I'm sorry about the phone. I really am. But you know there is no way I can give you 50k by the weekend. What do you want me to do? You're lucky we're friends because I'm willing to offer you an alternative. Which is? What? Don't talk to Olive or Adam or Esther for the rest of the school then. 
<laughs> really? Would I fix your phone? Will you fix my phone? I, why are you so... This is so childish. Ivy, talk some sense into her. It's her phone you broke. So you pay for it as she wants. Cash by the end of the week. Or ignore your new friends until the end of the time. The choice is yours. Fine. I won't talk to them. Speak up, please. I said I won't talk to them. Are you happy now? Very. And if you break the rules, you have to pay up immediately. And I will tell Olive you approached her only for my sake and not because you wanted to be friends. What do you think? Will he do it? He will keep his word. Don't you think you're pushing him too far? What if he leaves? <laughs> then he leaves! So they'll be in school today? They are back, but maybe not back in school. Uh, okay. Look at you rubbing shoulders with celebs. <laughs> we actually need it to Olive. For what? A project. What project? It's a song we are doing. We plan to promote it too. Uh, what will I be doing? We need a girl to sing. Come on, David. It's just your hobby. I'd rather work with you than look for someone new. Besides, your voice is perfect for it. I don't know. Just one day, today after school. You're a fast learner, don't worry about it. Well, okay. But please, start looking for other friends in your industry. <laughs> don't you like being on stage? I do. I just don't want to come and like it more than my studies. I doubt that will ever be a problem for you. You're not someone that's easily distracted. <laughs> well, I'm glad when I first think so. Right. Olive. Nothing. What's going on between you and Ada? Class greets. A sample of 180 books were selected from a school library. The following table shows the number of times the books were borrowed in the academic year 1979 to 1980. So we have the number of times and then the frequency. Have one to five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Why does my heart beat double time every time you smile? Shakes, I want to hold yours in mine. I just want to feel Olive. <laughs> yes, Ma. Please submit your homework this morning. Oh, sorry, Ma, I forgot. Okay, everybody. The exam timetable will be posted this weekend. So I expect everybody to settle down and study. A word is enough for the wise. Thank God! Those are the longest four periods of my life. Archie!
you forgot to submit your homework. <laughs> yeah, it happens, right? Not to you. Are you okay? What's going on? Nothing much. I'm fine. I'm going to lunch. Are you coming? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. I'll meet you there. Okay. Give me a second, guys. Hey, Adam. Hey, Romeo, can we talk? <laughs> Romeo is not available right now. <laughs> then actually fell asleep on the call just like that. I did not. <laughs> yes, she did. Are you even listening? Huh? Sorry, yeah. I just tried to talk to Robert. And? He ignored me. I wonder what's going on there. Whatever it is, it can't be good. I'll try and catch him after his shift this evening. You guys will come, right? No, thank you. Why not? I have stuff to do. I can't believe you ditch me for your boyfriend. David and I are going to the studio after school. We might not come back on time. Sorry. Mr. Felix. Good afternoon. Hi, David. How are you doing? I'm fine. Glad to be here. No problem. Yeah. Mimi told me you needed help getting the place ready for the real thing. Mimi just called me to say she cannot leave her sick mom alone. And of course, Grace quit on me without any notice. So it's just me and you today. Well, I brought help. Boys! This young man friends from school. Just some guys that are volunteered to help. Collins, Soma, Steve, Johnny, and Harry. Guys, this is Mr. Felix. Here's the lounge. Good afternoon, sir. Yeah. Good afternoon. I'm, I'm glad you guys volunteered to help. We have a bit of work to do, though. I would be able to stay by Mr. Felix. Um, I have an appointment at the studio, but I'll come back later this evening. We are done again. Uh, so are you just going to leave me with him? Good luck. Okay guys, uh, let's get to work. Romeo, wait. I don't know what's going on, but you're acting really weird and we're all worried. I ran into Henry at school today. He told us what happened at the party and we want to help. I'm never taking that boy anywhere again. Standing here talking to you help me make the money for the phone. Will it? Let's help you. How? Do you have 50,000 or somewhere that I know he's in? Well, no, but I, I can't. I don't want your help. Why not? My mistakes, my responsibilities. If you really want to help me, leave me alone. Hi, Mom. How was the recording? Extremely fun. I didn't want to leave. I'm glad you had fun. I did. Ugh, I'm so tired. Your dinner is on the table. You can heat it up. Okay, thanks. This is the perfect time to tell her. 
just tell the truth and apologize. Okay. One, two, three. Mom. Hmm? I need to tell you something. What is it? It's about... It's Esther, excuse me. Hello, Esther. You're where? Hey, guys. Hey. Oh, sit down, let's give you just. Welcome. So, Harry and Romeo were at Iris and Iris' house for some party or whatever, and he broke Iris' phone screen by accident. So? Now, Iris wants him to give her 50k by the end of the week. Does he have that much money to spare? No, he doesn't. I still don't understand their friendship. What does Romeo benefit from it? We're going to help him raise the money. Hmm? He specifically said he doesn't want our help. Why not? Oh. Romeo has had to fend for himself his whole life. I doubt he's used to having others help. Look, I still think we should try. Between three of us, we can raise money and secretly translate into his bank account or something. Eh? Three of who? I did all I could. Romeo wasn't very appreciative. And I think you underestimate how much 50,000 is. Calm down. We don't even have to come up with all of it. We can help him raise parts. Hmm? <laughs> Oliver, what do you think? It's okay, I guess. You guess? Don't you want to help Romeo? I do. He's our friend. So, with our exams coming and classes ongoing, you also want to raise money for Romeo. Unbelievable. We can figure something out. But he's friends with Iris and Ivy by choice. He should enjoy the benefits. I think this is a chance for us to do things better. To really be a friend. What do you mean? Take Grace, for example. We saw when she started hanging around her old gang, and look where it ended. Maybe if we'd said something, she'd still be here. Okay, so do you have any ideas? Because the fastest way to raise that money is to rob a bank. Yes, good, yes. Or, or, we could offer a service that people would be willing to pay for. Oh, how about a car wash? Mm. Ah, come on, it's not the movies. Oh. Or a lemonade stand, but instead we could sell a drink like Zobo. Practical. But how many Zobo drinks would we have to sell before we hit our target? Point. We could do a movie night, charge a fee for admission and popcorn. Very nice! I'd rather watch Netflix at home than be stuck in a room with our classmates. Do you have any better ideas? <sighs> we could host a picnic buffet. Two hours at the park, make David and the Kings play. And we can sell baskets for couples too. It's like a mass date. Mm. But with exams coming up, less people will show up. But that's going to be the case for any idea we come up with. The timing is just unfortunate. It still has more upsides than downsides. And our classmates like to pretend to be posh, so they want to be seen there. And if the tickets are 1,000 per person and 30 people show up, that's more than half the money. Yeah. Okay. Calculator. Yeah. You all are invited to a party at my house. Same date and time as Olive's crappy party. Except there will be no gate fee and no bugs. Yay! Yay! Good thing we use eco-friendly paper. What are we going to do now? Maybe they'll realize our picnic was more wholesome than Iris's party.
useless. Giving up? So now you're talking to us? Off the record, of course. Of course. For me, you shouldn't have. What is wrong with you? What are you doing? What am I doing? You're being such a jerk. You told me in the library you were fine. I'm fine. So why did you snub Adam when he tried to talk to you? You were extremely rude to him when he tried to help you with Iris's phone screen. Do I have to be nice to the guy who you chose over me? What? You said... I know what I said and I stand by it. Acting normal was harder than I thought. <sighs> Romeo, I... I'm better now. You were right. I was a jerk. Adam is a cool guy. He's a good friend too. You all are. Iris wanted me to pay 50000 to fix her phone screen. When I told her I didn't have the money, she said I shouldn't talk to you guys for the rest of the time. So why are you talking to me? I don't care about her conditions anymore. They are petty and unfair. I told you. Iris and Ivy are... are ignorant of what real friendship should be like. I was too until I met you guys. Now what? I'm going to talk to them. What if they don't listen? I'll find the money no matter what and I'll walk away. I'm sure they have their qualities if you've been their friend this whole time. So I'll try not to judge harshly. That would be nice. And thank you guys, really. I know what it means to try to hold this fundraiser, especially with exams coming and everything. Who said this for you? It's kind of obvious. What is the meaning of all this? Uh-oh. Look. Good morning, counselor. Is it? Littering is against the school code. Remember littering? <laughs> I know you're not troublemakers, but I have to hold you responsible for these ending in the main corridor. Yes, counselor. Thank you, ma. Oh, don't thank me yet. I still have to issue your punishments. <sighs> Be back here by 3 o'clock for further instructions. Adam. What are you doing? What I have to. I've been talking to Adam and Olive. Traitor! Stop it! Iris, breaking your phone was an accident. And you know that. But how would you say I should either come up with the money in a week or stop talking to my friends? What friends? You know them because you are spying on them from me. Maybe it started like that. But trust me, after the first meeting, it was genuine. Try telling that to them, lover boy. They'll be stupid to believe you. And I thought we were friends. What kind of friends give threats and ultimatums or make demands that you're making? It's extreme. 
I broke your phone screen. It is a phone screen, Iris. You can wait three more weeks to fix it. The best I can do without starving my family is to apologize. And I'm sorry. How did I even think this was normal? You can't make me feel like I owe you for our friendship. That's not right. Really? Really. Okay. I'm telling Oliver. Go ahead. But this friendship can't work anymore. What do you mean? I'll do whatever it takes. I'll pay for your phone screen. But I'll not ignore the friends who have been kinder to me than you have. <laughs> this world is a cold and cruel place. The things I have seen must never be spoken of. Not even a whisper. You know what? I give up. Romeo chose to be friends with the Azukas, so I will not be paying for his mistake. But, but nothing. I'm done. Let's let it go, Olive. We did all we could and this is what we got. Frankly, we're out of ideas. Ah, look. It's the new toilet cleaners. <laughs> not now, stinky face. We just cleaned your bedroom and it reeked. Ooh. Do you need some ice for that bird? <laughs> well, burn all you want. I'm the one with the party this weekend. Mm -hmm. And all you've got is all the toilets. Get it? <laughs> just what is your problem, Iris? Romeo thinks of you as a friend. He actually defends you guys. And yet, this is how you treat him. <laughs> oh, don't act like you're so perfect. Romeo isn't either. The reason why he's friends with you is because I sent him. Yeah, that's right. Don't let him fool you. Your friendship is as a result of a revenge plan. A revenge plan? Because I beat you at the words game. Oh my god. You really need to learn how to let things go. And it seems your revenge plan backfired because Romeo is now our friend and we're here for him no matter what. Oh, 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 oh. Never bring him to a ball fight! Oh, okay, 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 Stop it! Uh, Settle down, all of you! Look at you! Like wild animals! I won't have you disgrace the entire school with your display! What is wrong with all of you? It's just, it's just, oh my. Be quiet! I'm ashamed of you all! All of you, follow me! We didn't do anything. I said, follow me. And shut your mouth while you're at it. Ma, where are you taking us to? It's a good thing I've got more dirty toilets to spare. No! No! One stall each. And while you're at it, I'll write a nice email to your parents so they can further attend to this at home. <laughs> Make it sparkle.
Tell me what. What? Nothing. Ah, I'm sorry. For what? Being a massive jerk. You didn't deserve it. Really? I was jail. Misguided. You guys have been nothing but good to me. Even when my initial intention weren't good. I'm not used to having people care about my everyday details. Oh. You better get used to it. Because you see, the three of us are a little mad. I can see that. It can get crazy, but in the end, you'll be glad for it. we've been treating him, how we treat all our friends, and how is that? Romeo is the only one that stuck with us. We should consider what he's saying. But why? We don't need him for anything. If he's leaving, he should leave. You don't mean that. Yes, I do. What's the point pretending? It hurts you when our friends leave. It hurts me too. Romeo has been loyal despite everything. But we haven't been fair to him. Romeo is only the only genuine friend I have. Everyone else either wants something or is just pretending. Why don't you just tell me that? Jeez, you two are so confusing. I wouldn't have to if you didn't try to steal him. Nobody can steal him if he's really your friend. You're the only one who can push him away. was supposed to be the reopening of Felix's lounge. I don't even want to go. I forgot. I can't miss it. I mean, I can't go, especially after that email counselor just suggesting to our parents. Good idea. Let's go. <sighs> Romeo, wait. Good to see you. Good evening. Uh, you, can, you can sit anywhere. Good evening. Uh, How are you doing? Good evening. Good evening. Hi, how are you doing? Can you see? Welcome. Hello, Ez? Ez, where are you? Yes, you're not going to find anywhere to sit. Five more minutes, I'll be right there. Yeah, just, just hurry up, okay? I need to go sort out my issue with the supplier. He's running late. I'll see you soon, alright? Okay.
wait, 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 wait. Just calm down. So you three tried to raise money to help Romeo and ended up washing toilets. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and somehow, you're mad that I wasn't part of that. Yes. Hmm. Brava! I find it hard to believe that you're not friends with Iris and Ivy. Yeah, I wouldn't call it friendship. More like a truce. For now. I guess I missed all the fun. As usual. By the way, get what I am. What? Just listen closely to what they were saying. Okay. okay. Tonight is a special night. First, Felix Lounge is back in business. So tell all your friends. Yeah, and also some of my good friends are coming up on stage with me for this brand new song. Everyone, please give a warm welcome to Ope Anola. I still need one more person. Um, someone who's shown a number of us the true value of friendship. Please welcome my good friend, Olive. Fakers out there, but you straight no cap. Let me tell it like it is. No other friend there is. You catch a bullet for me, you know what the felony is. Never stand back when I make a bad move. I can count on you for backup if I need you come true. Well, like Tigger and Pooh, Boj, Kasadi and Sundance, to Woody and Buzz, like Shaggy and Scooby. Two back to back, you remind me to be all of me. Hundred percent without apology, and that's the only thing anybody ever really wants to be themselves unapologetically because life is short. Be happy where you're here, and it's hard to pull it off without your best friend. But that's what best friends do. Them make you mental. Them no say you they special. That's Best friends do never hold you back. Ready whenever he does attack. But that's what best friends do. That's what best friends do. That's what best friends do. Hashtag blessed to have you. But that's what best friends do. They make you mental. Them no say you did special. That's what best friends do.
I said I'll be. And, 